The starting concentrations of both I- and Cl- in this solution are 1 mole per dm cube. As AgI is less soluble than AgCl, the Ksp of AgCl is greater than that of AgI, as represented by the sizes of these boxes. When some Ag plus is added, the concentration of Ag plus in the solution is insufficient to precipitate AgCl, since the ionic product, or IP, of AgCl is less than its solubility product, or Ksp. However, at these same concentrations, the IP of AgI will exceed the Ksp of AgI. Thus, AgI will precipitate, causing the concentrations of I- in Ag plus to drop. Precipitation stops when IP of AgI is once again equal to its Ksp, which means that a saturated solution of AgI is obtained. However, the concentration of Cl- remains constant, since no AgCl is precipitated. We now simulate the addition of more Ag plus to the same solution. Once again, IP of AGI increases due to the higher Ag plus concentration. The IP of AGI exceeds the Ksp of AGI once more, so precipitation occurs as discussed previously. Again, precipitation will occur until AGI's IP equals to Ksp. At this juncture, note that a precipitate is always in equilibrium with a saturated solution. As concentration of I- falls with the formation of more AGI precipitate, concentration of Ag plus in the beaker will slowly creep upwards, resulting in a higher IP for AGCL. However, IP of AGCL is still lower than its Ksp, so no precipitation of AGCL occurs. With each added drop of Ag+, the above trends will repeat themselves. 1. Concentration of I- will slowly decrease with formation of more precipitate. 2. Concentration of Ag+, will correspondingly increase, since IP equals to Ksp, of AGI with the precipitate remaining in equilibrium with its saturated solution. 3. IP of AGCL will increase with a bigger Ag plus concentration multiplying by a constant concentration of Cl minus. This will continue until there comes a time when the increasing Ag plus concentration hits another important threshold. At this Ag plus concentration, IP of AGCL equals to Ksp, hence the beaker contains a saturated solution of both AGCL and AGI. This Ag plus concentration can therefore be used to calculate the I minus ion concentration remaining by equating IP to Ksp of AGI. With a few more simple calculations, the amount of AGI that has been precipitated up from the beginning can be obtained, thus giving the maximum separation of AGI and AGCL due to differential solubility. When more Ag plus is added, both the IPs of AgCl and AgI will now exceed their Ksps, causing precipitation of AgCl and AgI to occur. From this point onwards, any further addition of Ag plus will cause both AgCl and AgI to be precipitated.